<laughs> so I think one of the the most important things to talk about with bottles next is obviously the next component. You have these two separate modes that bottles can run in. You have I believe the original yeah, the original version is called classic mode and the new one is next mode. So I guess start by briefly explaining what both of these modes are. Like, what is what is classic mode? How did that work? We'll start there. Okay, As to explain this, we have to discuss uh, a big problem that uh, Bottles has, mm -hmm. which is uh, um, Bottles has a wine prefix manager application, has a lot of uh, features, and many more, many other should be added in the future. Um, the main concern of people using bottles was that uh, bottles is very, very confusing. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, I use Lutris a lot uh, and it's pretty more confusing compared to bottles, but I, I love Lutris and I'm a friend of uh, the, the founder of Lutris. <laughs> Not uh, a problem. Um, so to, um, to fix this problem, we discussed it for quite a um, like month that's a pretty pretty big discussion we we had and we said so we have to satisfy advanced users and uh, new users uh, new corners but how can we do so because advanced users would want to be uh, want access to every single option like changing the runner, the XVK version, the XVK Plex, VKD, VKD 3D, and all the option, FSR, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But the new user just want to play the game or run office and stuff like that. So we say, why not making, why not creating two separate interfaces one for advanced users and one for new users. So we can streamline, um, we can offer every single functionality to the advanced user and add more functionalities over the time because as an advanced user and just make the life of the new user simple because uh, I can see a new user opening bottles and saying, oh, I just wanted to start uh, playing Epic Games Store, installing and using Epic Games Store. Why should they have to create a bottle, open the bottle, go to installer, click install, uh, and then go to programs, open Epic Games Store, and stuff like that. I just wanted to play and uh, um, install and play Epic Games Store. So the next mode, will just prompt you a search bar where you can search for your program and press install. And that will show up in your library. And that's the, that's the thing. I mean, you just have the, this big library with all your programs mm -hmm. and just click play to start using that program. And the different thing is that uh, because under the hood, there is a, a, a complaint, uh, um, complex behavior. I mean, uh, the classic mode will use the classic wine prefixes. So you create a bottle, two bottles, three bottles, etc., And you will have more than one wine prefix. While using the next mode, you have just one bottle, one uh, wine prefix, and every single program has its own layer, mm -hmm. like the RPM S3 overlays, we can say. Okay. And so there is only one wine, pref wine prefix. Every program has its own layer with all uh, dependencies, uh, configuration, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to um, work with the wine prefix or tweak that because you tweak the single program. Mm -hmm. 
So if I... That's pretty complex. <laughs> if I understand it correctly, so even in this next mode, it's sort of like having mini bottles all inside this one. They all have their own separate environments inside this one bottle. Yup. Because that's one of the uh, the things I did see I did see people confused about because the idea of bottles was that you had these separate things for each of your separate applications and I saw a lot of people not really sure how it would work if all of your applications you installed were just in this uh in this single bottle. Uh, that's thanks to the layers. I mean, you have that one prefix which has uh, one or more layer, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the the pure concept about um, under the overlay structure, overlay FS. So there is a lower directory, upper directory, work directory. Mm -hmm. That's the the thing. I mean, mm. it's pretty simple. I mean, the, the big concern was uh, that uh, bottles, the name bottles, um, refer to many bottles. Right. And the next mod uh, proposed to use just one bottle. Uh, yeah, that's probably confusing, but there are more kind of user. There is the new user, the advanced user, and the advanced user, probably 50% uh, of the people using bottles are advanced users, so they expect to be to, um, to use more than one bottle. Mm -hmm. so I don't see the problem. I, I don't see a problem either. It's just that a lot of people weren't sure how it would work, so it seemed weird. But with your explanation, I think it does certainly make it make a bit more sense one thing one thing i'm not sure about is i don't think you mentioned this in the post but can you make use of next mode and classic mode at the same time so have certain applications inside that single big environment and then pick and choose other things that you want to be in their own separate bottles yeah, you, you can switch the from next to classic uh, and vice versa mm -hmm. at any time. Mm, when if you are using the classic mode, if you will use the classic mode, you can still create uh, a next bottle, mm -hmm. which the, use the overlays and that stuff. Of okay. course, the the interface will be uh, the classic mode one. So you don't have the library with every program installed, etc. But just a classic bottle with the list uh, of the installed programs. So it's a bit different, but you can still switch to the next mode, and all the bottles you created using the classic mode will just uh, be hidden, and you can just use the next bottle. Okay. Okay. So for those advanced users, it still gives them the power of this new solution if they do want to use it. Exactly. That makes sense. That that yeah, that definitely does make sense. Um <clears throat> So what was confusing about the the old method that you had with that classic mode? What was I I've not been I've not really used bottles that much, but what was confusing about having to make a bottle for each of these individual applications was was the extra configuration that needed to be done. What what really was the problem here? Uh, based on the reports, uh, some people just uh, uh, there was some users killing the application during the bottle creation because the first bottle you create in the current version of bottles takes like uh, around uh, one or two minutes to create because uh, it's not just a wine prefix it's uh, based on the environment you select it installed uh, some dependencies uh, registry keys uh, etc so it takes uh, some time mm -hmm. 
but that's only only the first bottle because uh, in bottles there is a concept of templates which is a sort of a cache and every time the first bottle the first one prefix you create uh, is used as a template for the next one oh, okay. and that was some mm, that was confusing for some uh, users mm -hmm. because they say, ah, it's taking forever, just kill the application. And currently there is a problem in bottles because if you kill bottles during that creation, it will create a broken wine prefix, ah. which uh, could work, but 99% uh, of the case is just broken. You can't use that for anything. Mm -hmm. And that was the first point. The second one was, uh, which was also a criticism uh, from the Gnome Circle, which is what is the main uh, uh, action in bottles? Mm -hmm. And the main action was to is to run an executable, not using the installer. Mm -hmm. We have an installer view when you can install Butternet, Origin, Epic install, etc. But the main action is still running a single executable. Mm -hmm. And that was not very clear. And some users um, misunderstand that. They, they go to the installer, use the installer, or if they want to install Epic Game Store, uh, they use their run executable button, picking the, um, the executable of the Epic Game Store. And that will never work because you need some dependencies, which only the installer install. Right. So that's pretty confusing for some users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless you had gone into that following a tutorial, like I can see why someone would get lost with that. I, I would probably stumble around for a while until I properly worked it out. And I'd probably just give up and look up how to do it. Um, so I, yeah, I can understand why that's something you'd want to, you'd want to clean up. Um, you, but... Sorry, were you saying something? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Right. Actually, wait. Let me let me think what I'm trying to say. So if you're going from, wait, <laughs> now I'm struggling with English. Um, so Bottles Next is not currently ready. Is that correct? Are you still a work in progress? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's in uh, first stage. Okay. Okay. I assume the plan is to make sure that when someone is moving from the current version of Bottles up until Bottles Next, when that is ready, everything they currently have set up is just going to smoothly migrate over. Uh, maybe. May okay. We are still discussing that because there will be a very different structure behind the hood. Uh, We'll probably create a like a sort of migrator for mm -hmm. the legacy bottles application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 